today's video is five meals for under 25 pounds from Aldi slow cooker autumn edition slow cooker meals are probably my favorite especially at this time of year they are budget friendly easy to make and so comforting and delicious these are some of my favorite meals subscribe if you're not already to see more slow cooker meals coming up on the channel the shopping list is down below and watch the video for the recipes I just also want to say before we get started, big thank you to Yamanom for always supporting my channel. If you've never heard of Yamanom, it's an app that I'm currently working on and it reduces food waste, helps you save money with your food shop cost and more. It does so much if you are a big foodie like I am or if you just want to save a few pounds with your food shop. I have a code that gives you lifetime membership for half price which is um, amazing. Use that code and visit the website down below to sign up but I just wanted to say we've actually created Spooky Nom which is just for the next couple of weeks until Halloween's finished where you can spookify any meal. You can literally create any meal whatsoever and just make it a bit spooky, just a bit of fun if you're having a Halloween party or if you want to celebrate Halloween in a small way, which is to make a spooky meal at home, then use this app. This is um, free for everyone, the Spooky Nom. So I've left the link down below just to visit Spooky Nom. So we're actually running a small competition where everyone who uses Spooky Nom, if you are to send in the recipe cards, because you get a personalized recipe card with every spooky meal that you make, if you send in a recipe card and a photo of any spooky non meals you made to email addresses down below or my Instagram, then our favorite meal is going to receive lifetime free membership on Yumnon Plus. So it's a great competition. If you want lifetime free membership, go ahead. But I have left all the details down below. Anyway, that's enough on that. Let's get straight into today's video. So the first meal I'm going to be showing you today is sausage casserole. Is autumn really autumn without a warming sausage casserole in the slow cooker for you to come home to and serve up? One of the easiest meals you'll make, super budget friendly. And what I love about this one, a little bit goes a long way so you can reduce your meat intake and increase your veg intake, but it doesn't really feel like you've done either. It just, it's a really hearty meal on a budget. So first thing you're going to do is fry up your veggies until they're nice and soft. All of this is actually optional, all the frying. You can just shove it all in the slow cooker, but I like to, I don't know, I like to take 10 minutes out and do this bit first and then put it in the slow cooker. I fry the onions and celery together for a little while first with some olive oil. Then I throw in the carrot chunks um, and let them fry for a bit. Once they've softened up a bit, I add um, a knob of butter and some plain flour, and then I let the veggies soak that plain flour in. All this is going to do is really thicken the sauce and really thicken your sausage casserole in the slow cooker. I like a thick gravy with my dinners, especially at this time of year. So the plain flour really does make a difference and you only add a very small amount, but again, that's optional. So once the flour has been drawn in by the softened vegetables, you want to transfer that straight to your slow cooker pot. And the next thing you want to do is brown your sausages. You don't need to fully cook them, but I prefer to brown them just because they won't brown at all in the slow cooker. Again, completely optional. This really is just um, for image and also a little bit of te texture. Um, but yeah, my sausages are browning, so I'm going to turn my slow cooker onto high. I'm cooking this for four to six hours on high. I can do it on low for eight hours. And the herbs I'm adding is dried thyme, dried rosemary. You can just add mixed herbs if you like. Um, if you just want to make it easy, if you don't have those two in your cupboard, but you do have mixed herbs. Then I add my stock. We add beef stock just because we like it quite um, umami flavored, so very savory. Add your stock, add your tin tomatoes, add your sweet potato chunks, that's completely optional. I just had a sweet potato that absolutely needed using, so I added it. Um, and also, if you want a nice little hack, add some baked beans. Baked beans in your um, sausage casserole is a 10 out of 10 move. I highly recommend it. You can add just a whole tin of beans. These beans were sort of left over from breakfast in the fridge, so I just added those. Um, but yeah, baked beans, they go really well with this. And then cut your sausages that have browned into chunks uh, of three per sausage and put them in your slow cooker cover up and that is all you're going to need to do genuinely that's all you're going to need to do until you serve up so 
give it a really good stir so all the flavours are combined. Close the lid and hey presto, leave it. It's just, mm, just so easy. And also, uh, it makes your house smell divine throughout the day, all those cooking vegetables. Oh, it's just so lovely. So just before serving, I start making some sides. I personally served this with some garlicky, salty mini potatoes that I made in the air fryer, which were 10 out of 10. I really just can't live without the air fryer. Um, but yeah, look at this stew. Oh my gosh, it's just so thick and delicious and warming. So yeah, I've got my potatoes that I made in the air fryer and I'm serving it with that. I will say I also made a fresh loaf of bread that day and I had a slice of bread with it and fresh bread with this is so good, just so so good. So um, fresh bread or potatoes up to you. You can also serve this with mashed potato if you prefer. I like um, crunchy potatoes with this just because it gives a really nice like, sort of textured difference. Um, or homemade fresh bread, absolutely delicious. Often you will find there's quite a lot of sauce left over. The sauce is fantastic to sort of turn into a soup for the next day. So I had like the veggies with the sauce the next day. All the sausages were definitely gone. Um, but yeah, really good meal. Okay, next up is my slow cooker satay chicken. <gasps> I mean, this is just flavor explosion in your mouth. It's so luxury feeling as well. It's such a luxury meal, but again, on a super tight budget. So first thing you do is throw your chicken thigh fillet straight into your slow cooker. I don't do anything to chicken thigh fillets. I don't cut the fat off. I don't do anything just because any fat is going to melt away in the sauce and um, thigh fillets tend to stay moist and I, they don't need browning really. So the next thing I'm going to do is crush my garlic and put that in with my chicken. I've also added olive oil and chili flakes. Then you go in with your peanut butter. So I used to follow this recipe for satay chicken that said to add um, a cup, I think it was a cup full of peanut butter, like sweet peanut butter smooth. But I have to say it was just way too sweet for me. So what I've started doing is adding a little bit of smooth peanut butter for the sweetness. And then I add in the crunchy whole nut butter from Aldi, the foodie market. Um, much less sugar and also still just as delicious. It has that lovely satay taste, but also has a really great texture of the crunchy nuts. So um, yeah, that's my preference. You can just add smooth peanut butter. Then add your soy sauce, some honey um, and some chicken stock and fresh ginger. Personally, I think fresh ginger does taste much better but you can add dried ginger if you want. A bit of really really good stir and just leave. I cooked on high for four hours. About halfway through I did need to add a bit of extra hot water just because the um, sugar in the peanut butter just cooks off the water really quickly so you need to be really careful that it doesn't dry out. Um, anyway this was a few hours later and look it's Oh my gosh, it's just, uh, I mean the camera is just not doing it justice, but it's creamy, it's peanut buttery, it's just delicious. And um, we serve it with just plain rice that I've cooked in the microwave. If you do want to learn how to cook rice very easily in the microwave, I've left a video of mine down below for you. Um, but yeah, serve up with a nice hearty portion of the um, chicken. We serve ours with fried off veggies, so carrot ribbons, um, some broccoli. I had some green beans that just needed eating, so I shoved those on the plate. And um, we fried those with sesame seed oil and added some dried sesame seeds on top. Spring onions on top of the chicken is a must, in my opinion. It just goes really, really well. The next one is my sweet potato and chili bean chili. I have a feeling this one will be very, very popular and um, my vegetarian chilies are always so popular with you guys. They are the bu most budget meals you can make that are the heartiest and most delicious. So 
honestly give this one a go it's so cheap but so easy to make so first thing you're going to do is prepare all your veggies so that includes peeling and dicing up your onion peeling and dicing up the sweet potatoes so I add those into the slow cooker um, with some olive oil and I add those straight in then you're going to rinse your black beans underwater um, so strain them and rinse them underwater just to get rid of that weird uh, murky water and you're going to add um, about a tea two teaspoons of cumin powder a load of smoked paprika and some cayenne pepper you're also going to add a chicken stock cube or a vegetable stock cube add your beans into the um, slow cooker with your diced sweet potato and that really is it once that's all in add your tin tomatoes I've started buying plum tomatoes in the tin as a little homage to one of my viewers who said that she always buys the plum tomatoes because her nan told her that they have more flavour and you know what that's a good enough reason to buy plum tomatoes for me so I now buy plum tomatoes um so add your tin tomatoes and also crushed garlic stir it all round cover it and cook it on low and slow for eight, eight out six to eight hours or high or high and shorter time of four hours um, but everything's going to really soften the beans the black beans are great because they really hold their texture so they give you that like chili texture you know it's not too mushy um but yeah it's just such a great dinner and yeah cover it cook it for a while and this is it a few hours later as you can see after mixing and stirring it all around the sweet potatoes will soften and sort of turn into a more chili like texture you can actually add two tins of beans if you like it to be bean heavy um but this made more than enough for four people and leftovers the next day uh, it really does go a long way this meal so we serve ours with white rice and some grated cheese and also some sour cream and guacamole um it's a really nice way of serving this dinner like with the sour cream and guacamole it's just it just all goes really really well together and yeah really hearty really good for you really delicious and um, my toddler loves this meal the cayenne pepper gives it a nice little kick and um, but you can leave that out if you don't like spice and yeah just a great dinner okay next up is uh, my slow cooker immune boosting chicken stew so i make this with rice um what i would say is i used white rice because i'd run out of brown rice but this would go much better with brown rice just because brown rice holds its texture so much better in the slow cooker brown rice or wild rice even um but yeah so first thing you're going to do is prepare your veggies so that includes slicing up your onion peeling and slicing your carrots and washing and slicing your mushrooms this really is a chuck it all in type dinner an immune boosting stew that i like to make quite often throughout the autumn and winter periods because it's true what they say uh children pick up all the bugs in the world um so yeah i'm just like doing anything i can to boost our immune system so i put plenty of fresh ginger into the slow cooker and plenty of garlic a little bit goes a long way with this because it's like a shredded chicken stew i only needed three chicken fillets and this uh, made enough for about six adult portions so um yeah another way of reducing your meat intake reducing your food shop cost and um just making just just making do with what you've got and saving money at the same time but yeah i crush loads of garlic into it i um peel I grated loads of ginger into it that stuff's just really good for you and really good for your immune system throw in all your veggies so carrots onions mushrooms if you do want to put hidden veggies in if you've got fussy people in your family you can actually shred all of these ingredients and um, particularly the mushroom and carrots and when you shred them they're very non noticeable in this dish it just it just becomes a rice stew um, but there you go there's everything i added a chicken stock as well and i added a big glug of water I'm, i've put the measurements in the description box but um this is one that i check on every sort of three hours just to make sure the rice hasn't like taken all the water in particularly if you're using white rice because it can become very very saturated 
Um, but yeah, this is at serving time, so you don't serve it with anything else other than what's in the slow cooker. You can add salt and pepper at the end. I don't tend to add salt into dishes where I've added a chicken stock cube because I find them so salty already. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's an absolute delicious meal. There's lots of um, healthy fats in there. There's lots of healthy veggies in there. And it just tastes gorgeous and it's just such a cozy meal. Oh, I just love this one. And again, this, this recipe during the day makes your house smell heavenly. It just makes your house smell so nice. But it's definitely one for if you're not feeling well and you're sort of at home on a rainy day. And the next up is my slow cooker chicken curry. Um, I actually received a comment last night on a video I made last year on a chicken curry I cooked. And I put it up here. It literally has made my day. Um, it's just made me so happy. So I just want to say thank you to anyone who takes the time to leave a comment like this on my videos. It really does make a difference. When you make those comments, it really sort of, it just filled my heart with joy. Um, so thank you, but yeah. I do love this chicken curry that I make in the slow cooker. Really budget friendly, and um, I've served it to pretty much every child in my family so far, and every single one has loved it. So if you've got fussy children, make this one, because um, they tend to just love this dish. They tend to love this curry. So first thing you're going to do is put your chicken thigh fillets into the slow cooker with some olive oil. Um, you're going to put a tin of tomatoes in and then you're going to grate some fresh ginger in. If you haven't got fresh ginger, use dried ginger. I like using fresh ginger just because, um, especially at this time of year, I like to boost my immune system. Um, you're going to add a chicken stock in there. You're going to add your cut up veggies, a lump of butter, and then you're going to add your curry powder. I actually just use the medium curry powder from Aldi. It's absolutely stunning. It's so good it's just got such a lovely aromatic curry flavor to it so i tend to just use that in the moment um i do sometimes add a little bit of extra turmeric into this just because turmeric's great for you and it gives that lovely flavor and um, but i didn't have any turmeric today so i just stuck with the curry powder from aldi stir it all around and leave it cook it on slow in your slow cooker for six to eight hours or high for around four just make sure the chicken doesn't get stuck to the bottom of your slow cooker so i'd stir it every two hours um, I'm serving mine with a side of um, fried potatoes and spinach. So you just want to parboil your potatoes for a while. Oh, and also some rice. Um, but you just want to parboil your potatoes for a little while and then you're going to fry them with some cumin powder, some turmeric, um, salt in a frying pan with the spinach. I haven't actually tried to make these curried potatoes in the air fryer yet. I bet the air fryer would do a really, really good job. Um, so I'm tempted to try that next. But um, yeah, the potatoes are frying away. Then you're going to serve it up. I did actually serve this, like this was such a filling meal. I would normally do like two carbs, but I did rice, potato and naan bread. <laughs> we were definitely enjoying the curry that night, but um, you can do it with all three or you can just pick two. But yeah, the absolute best thing you can do to this curry dish is add your double cream. I, I really feel like the double cream makes this dish. So what I do is turn the slow cooker off for a while, let it cool down a bit, and then about add about half the pots of double cream um, from your shopping list into this. And it becomes creamy shredded chicken curry and it's delicious. The naan bread I get from Aldi is an absolute must. I can't go back to normal naan breads anymore. This naan bread is stunning. I hope Aldi continue it forever. Um, but yeah, one naan bread feeds uh, myself, Lawrence and my son uh, more than enough. And this made loads of spare chicken curry. So I let it cool down completely and I froze loads of the chicken curry. Um, but there you go. It's, oh, it's creamy. It's, it's just so delicious, this chicken curry. Um, there's the curried potatoes, they will go quite dark because um, of the spices you're going to be using. I also added garlic into the potatoes, but yeah, look at this naan bread. It's, oh, it's stunning, guys. It's just so good, but yeah. It's an absolutely fantastic curry. I absolutely love it. 
and we really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all the meals that you saw in today's video. I love filming these types of videos, so I'm going to do another slow cooker slash air fryer edition for autumn winter soon. So make sure you subscribe for that and I'll see you guys again really, really soon. Bye.